Honors experience was just amazing because yeah, my, my supervisors are great. I think that's what you find mostly here at the University of Adelaide is that the people who are teaching you have been in that position and they're able to you know, re you know, relate to your experiences. And, yeah. I've worked in research for a number of years in um, many different laboratories and different areas of um, biological research and um, I've always been a research assistant and I wanted to really sort of delve a bit deeper into a project and really increase my knowledge and so I felt that doing a PhD was the best way for, to do that. I'm originally from Sri Lanka and I did medicine for my undergraduate degree and then after completing, I wanted to take up clinical genetics for my postgraduate training. So it was a requirement that I do a PhD also in something related to genetics. So therefore I was looking for places and I found out that University of Adelaide had some really good research in the field of genetics. My honest research was in um, investigating this extracellular um, enzyme called ADAMTS1 and um, we propose that it's involved in breast cancer progression and also metastatic spread, which is the um, spread of cancer to other tissues. Currently I research uh, reproductive immunology um, and I look at how the mother's immune system tolerates the fetus. Um, so the analogy that we always use is um, that if I was, for example, to give my mother an organ, her body would reject it because it's genetically different. Um, but for the period that she had me as I was a baby, her body managed to tolerate me. Um, so we look at the mechanisms that allow that to happen. So my project is looking at what regulates ovulation or the release of an egg from the ovary just before fertilisation. And in particular, I'm looking at the molecular mechanisms that control ovulation. And so in other words, the genes that could be involved in that process. And um, it's probably surprising that we don't really know that much about such a fundamental reproductive process um, and so for me it's quite an exciting area to be working on. I initially applied for an APA scholarship during my honours and I was successful in um, getting that and um, during that time the Robinson Institute was um, establishing new scholarships and they were able to offer top-up scholarships of six thousand dollars to APA um, recipients and yeah, I was successful in, in getting that. Yes, I've been very fortunate. Um, I got an NHMRC scholarship and I also got a scholarship from the Robinson Institute and also from Healthy Development Adelaide. So that's really helped out me because I um, actually have a young family. So for me to take time out and do my PhD was um, quite a big deal. So it's really helped. There's been great opportunities, some of them such as travel, um, which has been going to places like Taipei and, and Beijing and throughout China, which I got to do last year. And this year I'm going to get to go to Berlin and then hopefully actually um, go visit labs and go to London and the States as well, maybe New York, which would be great. Um, but on top of that, you also get to, you know, expand your horizons. You get to learn a lot more about things that you really didn't think would interest you, but you, you quickly learn that they do.